Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshockey9.com doing a uh, four box break of 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Random team break number 11 from jazbeeshockey9.com. Um, the second half of the case, if you remember, I made a check mark on the other inner case. The second half uh, is in the store already. So if you want to run this back tonight, tonight would be a perfect night. Things will, might, be a, might be a little bit on the quieter side with a big new release coming out tomorrow, but we can do fun stuff like this hockey. At the end of the break, I'm going to randomize the original 15 names, and one, two, three, four, five packs of this will be given away. There's autographs in here, too. So that will be randomized to uh, five people at the end of the break. All right, so there we go. Now let's pop this guy open. Let's see which four boxes we're going to do. Good luck, everybody. So there's four boxes on the left and right side. Let's roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, and four, five, six for the right side. And it's two, so we'll do the left side right here. This side we will reserve for next time. Maybe we can do this tonight. So this will be for RT12, Random Team 12. which is already on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out. Be there or be square. Don't be square. You don't want to be square. All right, that's what every box contains. People looking for that guy. All right, now, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. And all teams are in. Wild and Lightning are combo to make 30. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list eight times. Two and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two times. Seven and eight. Two and a six makes eight. Scott McNulty on the pole. Cruz with the last two spots there. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Canadiens on top and the Senators on the bottom. Right. Good luck, everybody. Scott McNulty with the Canadiens. Paul Cool Whit with the Maple Leaves. Joe P with the Penguins. Joe P with the Pittsburgh Penguins. A lot of P's there, Joe. Paul with the Blues. Andrew K with the Rangers. Scott McNulty with the Devils. Uh, Paul Cool Whit with the Wild and the Lightning. Patrick Evans with the Hurricanes. Robert Rory got the Preds. Joe P with the Ducks. Sen Yin with the Oilers. Robert with the Jets. Derek with the Coyotes. Matt Garza, Last Spot Mojo. Bruins, your other Last Spot Mojo. Avalanche. EJ, you've got my Kings. Scott McNulty with the Flyers. Cruz with the Canucks. Sen Yin with the Sabres. Cruz, Blackhawks, and Panthers. Andrew Kay with the Red Wings. Patrick Evans with the Capitals. Eric Jennings with the Golden Knights. Cruz with the Flames. McNulty, you got the Stars. Whitlock, you got the Blue Jays. Blue Jackets. And kind of Blue Jays, I guess. Derek Slavic, you got the Islanders. Cruz, you got the Sharks and the Senators. All right, so let's sort by... Work by team here. Any trades? Feel free to trade if you'd like. I'll give it the time it takes for me to print this out for you to knock out a trade if you want to. Joe P keeping the ducks. He's happy about that. Eric Jennings putting a putting a Kings. He wants to move the Kings and the Western Conference champs, Golden Knights. Wants to try to move those if anybody's interested. 
break number 11. Going once, going twice, trade window closed. TWC in the chat. All right, let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everyone. Bounty website right there. So hockey fans, educate me here. Do the, uh, you know, hockey not my strongest suit, but do the, uh, do the Golden Knights have a chance? All I know is that they're down 3-1. And I know that coming back from 3-1 doesn't happen too often. Unless you're the Kings, I guess. I think that happened back then. Um, but, I mean, sports in general, I know that doesn't happen very often. But are the, are the Golden Knights losing close games? Are they, or are, are they just being dominated? You know, like, is there a chance for them to even come back? Or is this series pretty much over? Jeremy Nicolo saying, not a good one, but hey, it happens. Eric Jang saying, they'll lose in game six in D.C. TJ saying, we can hope. Patrick saying, no. O.V. can, will, win his first cup, Stanley, win his first Stanley Cup. Ovechkin. O.V.E.K.I.N. I don't know who that person is, Goodwin, but I'm sure you meant. But I do know a guy named Ovechkin that's on the site. That's on the team, that is. I guess that's the big narrative. That's the big storyline. And ha have the Capitals won? Have the Capitals ever won? This team? I know they've been, right? But have they ever won one? That I don't know off the top of my head. They have not. All right. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through these guys. We'll save these parallels. I'll sleeve those up in a second so they'll get top loaded before they get sent out. A lot of these blank cards. Hovart, Horvat, that is. And Colin White is our first autograph. 948 out of 399. Sorry, check that. 999. That'll go to Cruz with the Senators. Oh, so that was the one that they lost. We were talking about that on Saturday, I think, Eric. Eric Jennings saying only only lost in their lost in their only appearance. Got swept by the Red Wings. We got a future watch, Kelvin Waugh. Is this Waugh, like Patrick, or is it Kevin Roy? That goes to Joe P. Level one future watch, Anaheim Ducks. Are you gonna play the game, Joe? Alex DeBrincat, out of nine ninety nine for the Chicago Blackhawks. That'll be for Cruz. Connor McDavid. He looks even younger there. If you could think he could look any younger. A 
Love those young guns. That goes to Joe P and the Ducks. And Hyrick Sedin for the Vancouver Canucks Spectrum FX. That'll go to Cruz. Slide these over. Jeremy N saying he doesn't even think this series makes it back to DC. All right, there's box one. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I blinked and I was out doing I was out doing like just chores and errands and whatnot uh, yesterday, and I feel like I blinked and it was just like oh four nothing Capitals in the first period, and I was like oh. I wonder you got to think you got to think Vegas coming back home, coming back are they are they coming back home? Got to be able to snag one, right? All right. Next box. Good luck. Eric is saying Knights had some good chances in the first, just couldn't score. Well, and and, and Mark Andre Fleury, right, was from what I understand, he he was playing like a wizard throughout the playoffs. Like he was he was just unstoppable. He was just stopping everything, every shot. You know, but he's a little little unwizard like now. You know who's happy about you know who's happy about uh, about Vegas not winning the Stanley Cup would be the the Las Vegas sports books who've already lost a bunch of money already. Not that not that you and I as uh, as betters uh, not not that we care, but the sports books definitely do. They're gonna they're in for a big loss with the Golden Knights future bets. They've already lost a bunch of money on. Golden Knights Division, Golden Knights Western Conference, Golden Knights to reach the Stanley Cup, and they would have lost even more. They're, I mean, they're already they're already uh, I think already down on NHL futures this season. But so don't you worry, they'll make it up. No, no one feels bad for the books. All right, here we go. Box two. There's Austin Matthews. Nice Spectrum FX. I've heard of that guy. That'll be for the Toronto Maple Leaves. Of course, that's for Paul Cool Quit. And no, that's true, TJ. You're absolutely right, man. There is there is nothing for nothing for the uh, Golden Knights to hang their head about. They've already, they've already, they got a really nice uh, constructed a strong team. They just have to. Have to keep that going. It's a great start, and apparently it's it's really pulled the uh, it's really pulled the city together. And especially after you know, especially after uh, all that what, what happened in uh, at Mandalay Bay last October, I think it was the big shooting there and that music festival. Um, I think, and, and then the Vegas Golden Knights. That was like their pro team that people could rally around. You know, sports takes people's minds off the, the the real life stuff sometimes, and I think they really they really embrace that city, embrace them, the team embrace the city. They rat they rattle off an incredible home record for a little while. I think a lot um, the Vegas flu, if you want to call it that, 
teams come into Vegas, all of a sudden they don't play as well. Maybe they're, maybe they're out and about. Sign of the Times, Kevin Shattenkirk for the Rangers. Nice one for the New York Rangers, Andrew Kay. And so my sister lives in Vegas, and she was saying... She was saying that, yeah, I mean, like, people are really excited about this hockey team. It's their first pro team, and a lot of people are really, uh, really buying into the team. Hayden Fleury out of 999. Like, my, my sister didn't follow hockey. She likes sports, but she, did, she didn't really follow the Kings or anything like that here, but she lived in Vegas for a while, and, like, she feels like that's, like, her team, which is cool. And I heard other podcasts where people are. Uh, where people are saying that um, that neighbors that didn't even know each other, you know, it's like a very big sprawling suburban community out there, and there's Jordan Everly, and they were saying that neighbors that they haven't lived to live next to for years that they haven't really known or said hi to, you know, like they're talking hockey, you know what I mean? They've got Vegas Golden Knights flag sitting out their houses and stuff like that. So I think I think that's really cool. Jeff Glass, Young Guns. So I, th I think it'll be exciting when my Raiders move to uh, to Vegas. Maybe the maybe the Raiders will will get some of that Vegas flu action from ro from uh, opposing teams coming in. Maybe they can take advantage of that. Although I feel like. From a from a wagering perspective, I feel like the I feel like the books will already be ahead on that now that they saw what happened with Golden Knights. They'll they'll, they'll adjust the lines accordingly. Halfway there, folks. Hockey is in, fun to watch. We I I've been to a couple of Kings games in my life, and uh, it is pretty it, it is pretty fun. Nice and cool inside. On a on a, I, was, <laughs> I realized that not everyone's gonna have hot days. I was gonna say it's nice and cool to watch in like April when it's really when it gets really warm in LA or even in January. Although it's hard, it's hard to dress for, I think, in LA. Cause it's hot out. It's like it'll be like shorts and t-shirt weather outside, and it's, and it's ice cold inside. What are you gonna do? You have, might have to bring a hoodie. Maybe that's how they get you. Buy buy your buy your LA Kings hoodie here. Fifty bucks a pop. But Jeremy Nicklo saying that, that hockey is the best sport to watch live. It is pretty exciting, I have to admit. I think uh, the, the, the advent of high-definition television has definitely helped the sport of hockey the most, I think. Um, but yeah, watching it live is, is pretty exciting. Baseball, I like. I grew up with baseball, so I grew up going to, going to Dodger Stadium since I was a kid. You know, so... Baseball, I can always enjoy. Football has I, I love I love watching basketball. I think ba watching basketball this time. I'm a big soccer fan. I think I think there's a uh, basketball, hockey, soccer. I think soccer has the kind of fluidity that 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 hockey does. Yeah, football. I don't know. I like the NFL a lot. I guess is it hard to watch? I don't know. Sometimes it is. I sort of, I, I kind of like that it's it's stop start commercial break though, because because I can I can like do other things, like or, like if it, if it's like I to do stuff around the house, you know I I can have a have a early game on or something like that and kind of kind of time it. All right, here we go. Halfway through, here's box three of four. There's Connor McDavid. Well, should we save one of those Connor McDavid's? Sure.
We have not seen, now they have these like pink parallel, red parallels, or whatever they call it. Um, but those are like one per pack, I think. I think there's um, there's black parallels where the card is all black and I we haven't seen one of those yet. That'd be cool to see. I think those are very short printed though. I think there's Patrick Waugh, uh, Spectrum FX for the Canadiens. That goes to Scott McNulty. Um, Jeremy's saying football is a game made for TV. It is. It is geared towards TV. I think you're, we're going to start to see more of uh, – there's Charlie McAvoy, 481 out of 999 Future Watch. Autograph that goes to Matt Garza, Last Bomb Mojo, Matt. There you go. I think that we're going to start seeing the – We've seen this more often, right? The picture in picture thing. Where like if you're watching TV, the game will still be going on here and there there goes the team right there and then there'll be like the commercial right here. You know, while they're standing around or, you know, setting up the next play or something like that. So I think we're going to start seeing a lot more of that. And another Bruin, Anders Bjork, 133 out of 99, out of 999, no relation to uh, the musician Bjork, right? The musical artist Bjork, or maybe, I don't know. Got another Young Guns card there. There's Kopitar. And Brabashev for the Blues. Barbashev? Barbashev. I think you got to add like a little bit of a Y there, right? Barbashev. I think if you want to go go Russian pronunciation, that goes to the Blues. Paul Cool Whit with that Spectrum FX level one. It looks like that is that for this box. Sorry, Ben Bishop. All right. One box to go, boys and girls. One box to go. I see a couple of orders coming in. Let's see what we can accomplish tonight. I know TJ was saying earlier, hey, how about we knock out some World Cup soccer? That's coming up next week. Pretty cheap break, too. And then knock out, uh, knock out the long one, the big one, 2018 Bowman Baseball, which will be another fun one to do. Um, on a night like this, it should be a little bit on the quieter side, especially with uh, with finest coming out tomorrow. So it might be a little on the quiet side. So tonight would be perfect time to do something like 2018 Bowman baseball, which is about just about halfway there. And the Angels already spoken for. Angels are already spoken for. They they were snapped up in the spot random that we did last Saturday night. So the Angels are already gone. All we just need is. 15, 16 more teams to be picked up, and then we'll be on our way to that break. We've got plenty of time for that tonight. And if you want to do the second half of this inner, that's also on the website. One spot gets you two teams. Jaspieshobbyland.com if you want to run back this SP Authentic break, which is a fun one. And the more of these breaks I do, the more hockey and knowledge that I will absorb. I guess I think in all sports, Professional team sports, I would say hockey is my sort of weakest knowledge wise. So any info that I can absorb over over time always be fun. We'll have premier hockey in late June, early July around there. That'll also be on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check out that. Come back to us for that. We'll always have a little bit of hockey on the site. Jazbeeshobbyland.com.
Maybe next year, Upper Deck will work on the packaging. Thanks, Upper Deck. My hands, thank you. Breakers all over the world, thank you. Other other companies too. Tops, Panini. This can't this can't happen. This looks like uh, this looks like uh, when uh, when the pug when my pug gets into a roll of paper towels or something like that and then just starts to shred them in little pieces. That's what this looks like. All right. Oh, have SP Authentic Packs always done that? I didn't have to do it last year. I think maybe two years ago, so I don't remember from two years ago. All right. Good luck, everybody. Our last box of SP Authentic Hockey 2017-18 edition, and we've got Cam Atkinson. It's a neat autograph. For the Blue Jackets, Paul Coolwit with the BJs. Blue Jackets, that is. Easy, folks. Relax. It's a family show. There's Steve Nash's brother, Rick Nash. I don't think that's true. That's fake news. And there's Adrian Kempe out of 9.99 for the old Kings. EJ, Eric Jennings, with little King Joe Mojo. There you go. There's Austin Matthews, nice uh, parallel there. You're welcome, Eric. EJ's Nito stat of the week. Casey DeSmith. Young Guns for the Penguins. For the Penguins. Tim Heed, 75 out of 99. Take Heed. San Jose Sharks. Cruz, take heed. Cruz, because Tim Heed is here. Future watch. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Future watch. Future watch. Some of these are serial numbered out of 9 and 99 for the Maple Leafs. Rosen, the chosen Rosen, another chosen. Then we'll go to Paul Coolwit. There's Cyborg Yarmir Yager. Can't be that old and still play professional team sport like that. He must be a cyborg. And slowly getting his his joints and parts replaced with with robotic parts. We all know this. Mark Giordano. And the last bit here, good luck everybody. Young Guns, David Kampf. And, and well we got James Neal right here. And Spectrum FX, Tuvo Teravinen. Yes, got it. And that goes to the Carolina Hurricanes. Rock you like a hurricane, Patrick Evans. And there you have it, boys and girls. That is 1718 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey from jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can go there and check out the other half. One spot gets you two teams, so pretty easy to fill up, pretty easy to do. And, uh, you know, we do so much baseball, football, and basketball here. Sometimes it's nice to see uh, a change of pace. And chance at some of these free packs autographs in here too. Uh, we've, we've had a number of people here at Jaspi's Hobbyland, regulars with us who've gone to the hockey, who have gotten autos out of there. That's cool. All right, so let's set, bring back the original 15. You're welcome, Cruz. Thank you for getting in. And let's roll the dice. Let's go back. Let's get some new dice. And we'll roll the dice and the top five names get one pack each. After five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, 
four, five, and a two. Six and seventh and final time. Top five, we've got Paul, EJ, Joe P, Patrick, and Paul. One pack each of this stuff. There are some autos in here too, so let me know what you get when you open these up if you get a cool auto or anything like that. Thanks everybody. Joe for jazbeesabayan.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.